apparently his discomfort is bilateral according to his feet. And if we had to say on a scale of one to five, five being a lot of discomfort, how much discomfort am I facilitating on your foot right now? Right now, about four or five. About four or five. So that's a lot of pressure and a lot of discomfort. But what we're trying to do again is we're trying to create a state of inhibition that won't allow the brain to sense his low back. Because we're blocking this first zone from communicating with his low back. Now you notice I'm only working on two sections of his foot right into his heel. And is this side equally as tender? Maybe just a hair more? Usually one foot is a little more tender than the other. And sometimes people think that this is really hard on the thumb. And yeah, granted, the harder you press, the, the tougher it can be on your thumb. But it's generally not that hard on your thumb once you learn the proper technique. So we've been about two minutes and seven seconds. How you doing, Rod? I'm still here. Okay, good. <laughs> now for you, um, is that one foot more tender than the other? What would you say your pressure on him is? As I'd a say this is, uh, this is a good professional grade strength right here. So I'm not pressing. My hands aren't quite warmed up yet. Okay. So <laughs> I usually need a few minutes. I don't know if I can handle the industrial okay. strength. <laughs> I usually need a few minutes in order to warm my hands up. But I'm just going in multiple directions. We're at about uh, 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Actually, it's getting better. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So you go back and forth from foot to foot. And each time you go back, a lot of times I'll have a bigger circle. Today, for ex the experience, I'm only working on two reflexes to show you how you can help people specifically without working the whole foot. Let's say a reflexologist wanted to work systems. Well, you'd be spending a heck of a lot of time trying to help a person, and you may never actually help them with what they came in with because you're non-specific. So a lot of times the sacrum, when it's out of place, which it probably would be on Rod, if he's right-handed, then his sa whole sacrum is probably rotated left. And when you rotate the sacrum left, the lumbar <coughs> vertebra rotate right. They always work in opposite. So if he has this torsioning, uh, challenge going on in his lower segments, then we'd also want to treat that to help him more fully. But just for today's example, we're trying, excuse me, we're trying to create that analgesic effect. So at this point, Rod, we've been in three minutes and 59 seconds. So we're going to go one more minute and then we're going to see how much is left. And this feels so like a little hammer, doesn't it? Yeah. So give me a number now, Rob. Is this still at a, at a four or a five, or is it a little less? Right there. It's at about right there. Right there. Five. That's right at his lumbosacral junction, right here. Yeah. So that's really where we need to be. Mm. <laughs> is this side equally or not quite as bad? Not quite as bad. Not quite as bad. Okay. So we've been four minutes, 45 seconds. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I was just asking my daughter, what, I wonder if you could do ice massage first to lessen the intensity? That's a good question. I've never actually tried that. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. We've been five minutes and two seconds. Now, oh, yes. Because he has the more intense pain on his right side, does that indicate that that's where Probably. he's the right side is probably more of an influence. Absolutely. So we've been five minutes. Rob, would you just do me a favor and stand up, please? We're going to probably have you lie back down again if you still have discomfort. Would you stand up and, and tell me um, how much low back pain you have right now? A bit of it's gone. I still have it. I can still feel it, but it's not anywhere near what it was. Okay, so how much is left percentage-wise? Say 100% when we first started, how much is left? Would you get back on the table for? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> He's like, no way. So you read sign language? <laughs> Okay. Actually, that's quite hurting already. It's just a nice warmness in the That's the good well. news is once I stop touching you, the feet won't hurt. It's only while I'm doing it. Right. So, they, would they hurt tomorrow or later? There may be a little yeah. residual yeah. discomfort if you touch it. But you, you should, He's got to walk on him. <laughs> but I didn't work on the bottom of his foot. I worked right here on the side yeah, of his foot. Just, it's just a warmness. And, you know. Yeah, I doubt his feet will hurt at all. So let's just go another five minutes and hopefully, <laughs> if, and it's going to be less tender this time though because he already had the toughest part of his assignment is over, you know. Let's go another five. So I'm going to, I'm going to focus back in here and he's going to find that this will be slightly less tender than it was. Is that true or true? Yeah. True or true. <laughs> well after you do something enough times you already know what's going to happen. So I, when would you use like a gliding technique or um, any kind of... You mean a foot massage? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, what you're doing much. is... That one that's right there. Yeah, it's like a walking trick. Yeah, yeah. I, I never, hardly ever do the fluffy stuff much. <laughs> I mean, I, I admit I don't. A person comes in and I'm just going for the therapeutic value. No, that's fine. I just was wondering. But you would use it would following your treatment. Following your treatment, you could apply. Just to play nice. Mm -hmm. just to, you know, or um, yeah. I'll nice do some nice. relaxation techniques, okay. such as I'll do some things like this, <laughs> ankle loosening. I'll do them. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll use those things throughout the treatment, so that gives them a little break. And maybe following their reflexology treatment, if you wanted to massage their foot a little bit with some oil, that would be a kind thing to do. Um, I don't do a whole lot of that, but um, most people that come in, what are they looking for? Are they look relief? Right? They're looking for a result, and so that is the type of presentation. That's the type of therapy, the type of application that I present. Is I'm looking for that result in a short period of time. I'm not into it for feel-good stuff. All I'm looking for is the bottom line. Can I get this person out of pain completely in one treatment? And then maybe that lasts sometimes in, for a long time. Maybe they need a few more treatments. But most people, you can get out of pain in one treatment, most. And not just working on the feet always, but working through the various aspects of the body. There's no one modality that will help everyone. But I know if I put his anatomical landmarks in neutral, if I turn off all the tender points in all the anatomy, such as quadratus lumborum erectors, the multifidi, etc., some of the glute muscles, some of the ligamentous structures along the spine, the spinous processes, etc., sacroiliac ligaments, if I turn off all that tenderness, we have a probably a longer standing result with Rob. So I just see where we're at here. We're two minutes and 37 seconds and I did mention that in five to 20 minutes we should be able to get Rob out of discomfort just by working on his feet. How long do your sessions usually last? Generally <coughs> reflexology about an hour. If I was to do more than that I've worked anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours on a person. Reflexology? No, from lining their structure to turning off their tenor to an orthoflexology treatment, I might work up to three hours. And for just reflexology, I'll keep it to an hour or less. Generally an hour, especially the first time, because a lot of times you, you don't want to overdo it the first treatment. He's not going to have any diarrhea, nauseousness, or anything like that because I'm only working one section of his foot. But if I use this pressure all over his foot and I did it for too long, you could, it, you might expect some negative, or it's not a negative, but you might expect some reaction in his body. So, Rob, we've done three minutes and 42 seconds, and this this time it's a little more comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, it's painful. Well, what's it? Yeah, a little it's less painful. It's less painful. Less painful. <laughs> but you said you've had your back pain how many years? Uh, several years. Yeah. Seven times eight thousand six hundred and forty is what? Yeah, a lot. It's a good fifty-six thousand hours anyway. So I come in here and I say, okay, Rob, it might take us three to six hours to make a huge improvement. 
for a long period of time. Four minutes, 15 seconds. I'm hopeful that this, this last five minutes that we're just doing here will get rid of that 20%. And you see I'm only working on one to two areas, sacrum and lumbar reflexes. That's all I've done today. And I just keep going back and forth. And if you close your eyes, which I haven't, but if you close your eyes, it does help you to tune in to that minute reflex action that his foot will create. Now the work you're doing, you're going pretty quickly with, with the thumb walking. I, is that how fast you would always work? I do. Okay. Yep. I call it speed walking because it is fast, but okay. you, get, you get more done. Um, you cover the reflexes more <coughs> rapidly and you definitely get more done. So let's have you get up again, Rob. We were five minutes and eight seconds. We were told of ten minutes and uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. It's gone. It's gone. It's okay. wow. cool. <laughs> so that is a prime example of an analgesic effect. We block the brain's ability. Now what I would want to know is how long that will last. But you don't have to tell me, but you make a mental note of it. Like that woman in Jacksonville, hers didn't come back for a whole year. I don't know if that will be true for you or not because you're a law unto yourself. But for you yourself, make a mental note and when that starts to come back, you now work on those areas and you work that tenderness out and eventually that will go away. No tenderness in the feet, no problem in the back. Okay. Let's give Rob a big hand. Right, right.